Welcome to this edition of Tornado Watch. I am King Sports Information Director Travis Chow here with Head Women's Wrestling Coach Jason Mormon, fresh off an NWCA National Duels Championship last weekend. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Uh, congratulations on the championship. You beat uh, number two, Simon Fraser in the finals, and the, they're number two in the WCWA rankings. Um, Tenth match, the last match at 191 with uh, Molasses McAdoo. Can you kind of bring the people through the match and kind of what you were thinking as it went on and how it finished? Uh, yeah, we knew it was going to be real tough. I mean, uh, you know, Simon Fraser has a, a couple senior world team members for the U.S. Um, they weren't in the lineup earlier in the year when we dueled them. But, um, you know, we were just really kind of relying on, you know, everyone doing their part in the duel. And um, we had a couple girls, you know, who only got tech fall and they get a pin and they were upset. And I kept reminding them, everybody's got to do their part. Um, at 101, we lost a decision. Uh, Shannon Constantine lost a decision to Darby Huckle, Simon Frazier. And then uh, Sam Klingel has been 116 in the last two years, made the cut down to 109, but got pinned by Vicki Anthony from Simon Frazier. So right away, we were down eight to nothing. Um, we came back, Hala Gala with a tech fall. And, uh, and Sarah Hildebrand with a tech fall, and uh, so tied it eight to eight. And then Helen Morales came back for Simon Frazier and, and, and ended up getting a tech fall for them uh, over Kayla Brandlinger. And so it was 12 eight, and then Allie Reagan comes back and tech falls uh, Velty for them, now it's 12 12, and it's just back and forth, you know. Um, but we felt good when we got to the upper weights, you know. I felt like, you know, that, that might be where we could get a little gap, and we did. Uh, Man Handy came through with a, with a fall. And then uh, Julie Salata got a decision, and that gave us like an eight-point lead going in the last two weights. Lori, Lori Ramos wrestled a tough match at 170 for us, but ended up losing that one. And it came down to heavyweight, and pretty much the scenario was if we got pinned, we lose. Yeah. Um, you know, we need to do anything but that. However, uh, their heavyweight was a defending national champ. Um, we had split with her this year. Uh, we beat her earlier in the year, and they had made adjustments and beat us again. So we also really wanted to win that match. You know, and Lex has been working hard and, and doing the things. You know, we making some adjustments to try to get that back, and it just went back and forth. And uh, it was a little bittersweet because at the very end, Lexus gave up I think two points to to lose on criteria 12 to 12. Uh, so she lost the match, but we won the duel. And uh, it was a little bittersweet, you know, because. Uh, she, she, was, she was definitely upset about what happened in that match, but, you know, of course, obviously, we're, we're, we're celebrating the one national championship, but, uh, so it was, it, was, it was a roller coaster, but, uh, you know, the, the girls did what they needed to do. Yeah, there were a few tense moments watching online, and trying to figure out what, what just happened, it's tied at 12, what's going on, are we going to get the points, and we ended up winning 21 to 19. Yeah, 21. <laughs> um, you mentioned some of the wrestlers here. Um, there's a good. There's been a good mix of like veterans and then newcomers, younger wrestlers this year. Um, a couple of the you mentioned Reagan, Slada, and Hildebrand all have experience on junior world team, senior world teams wrestling, you know, for Team USA. And then there, you add in a couple of freshmen in Haley and Gallo mm -hmm. and Megan Black, who both wrestled well last weekend. And they, you know, Haley has experience on those teams, as junior world teams as well. Can you talk about how that has gone well and what the the newcomers have learned from the seniors this year? Well, I think, um, you know, as a freshman, you come in and you, you never know what to expect. You know, Haley Gill is a freshman, however, you know, she's got a lot of experience internationally yeah. before she came to King. Um, so I think it's just kind of, uh, you know, I talked to Haley the other day and, and she just, she mentioned a lot how she kind of watches how, you know, Allie does and things. And, um, it's just been a lot of good leadership by example. Um, and it was it was good that you know, this freshman, you know, Megan Black, she she revenged a loss at the national duels. A girl had beat her earlier in the year, and then we ended up tech falling her, and when Megan had broken pinky, when she did it. So, uh, you know, those are also the good thing about all that is, that, and it's sometimes it's harder to, to measure it a little bit with your your older girls, but you know, with your freshmen, um, when you see the strides they're making, that kind of reaffirms some of the things that you're doing in the room and, and with your program, because you want to see. The, you know that success just continue and continue so you know yeah it's good to see um, we've talked a lot about the national title first one in program history you actually have a chance for another one here coming up this weekend Friday and Saturday at the WCWA College Nationals um, at a second and a third has been hosted here at King the last couple of years how is this event different from NWCA uh, well, NWCA is all the divisions. I mean, you have Division II, NCAA Division II, Division III, NEI, Junior College, and those are all men's, 
you know, men's divisions, and then you have the women's division. So, and in, 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 in that championship, it's dual format, so it's team versus team. And, um, you know, you, you're, the points are a little different, things like that. Uh, the WCW College Nationals, it's going to be individual, so, you know, each, you know, each weight's going to have a bracket, and, um, you know, our girls are going to have to fight through that bracket and, and try to place, and uh, we'll, team championships won based on, you know, where, where our girls place in that, in that tournament, so. Um, yeah, it's the first time, like I mentioned, first time in three years that it hasn't been here at King. Right. Will that, will that, you know, bring up new challenges that you haven't seen the last couple of years? I'm sure it'll be probably nicer on your end. You won't have many distractions trying to host a big tournament as a coach here. Yeah, I, I think some of the girls have mentioned, I mean, they do like competing here, mm -hmm. but, um, yeah, it is a little bit less stressful <laughs> for me. I mean, we just get to, and I think that does impact you know, our preparation because when you have so much to do trying to get the national tournament ready, sometimes it can pull away from, you know, preparing your athletes for the tournament just a little bit. Um, so I think that, uh, I think it's going to be different. I mean, we're, we're real excited. Uh, you know, we're going to get out there and uh, get some, you know, we're going to travel and get some, you know, rest and get a good weigh in and good meal and I think we'll be ready to go. Yeah, it should be a fun weekend at Missouri Baptist up in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, you've also been the preseason number one team each of the last two years. This year, you've kind of proven it all year, beating Simon Fraser a couple times, having faced the number three ranked team in or no, Oklahoma City, having faced them at all this year. But you've, you've beat the top teams over repeatedly all year. Um, does that add a little more pressure as you go in here as a number one team and kind of on a roll after this national title last weekend? Uh, I think it can. You know, it can put some pressure on you. I think that's where you know we're trying to you know to kind of you know make sure we're not letting that happen. And what what we've just been voicing to the team is that you know we we don't have to we're not defending anything. We haven't won a college national championship yet, WCWA. So you know we're in pursuit. We're not defending anything. And I think that if we as long as we have that attitude um, all the time, then we're going to continue to see you know, the success that we want. So uh, we do that. The pressure's off, and we're we're hungry for it, and we're going to go out. And, Hopefully get it. All right, thank you for joining us today, Coach, and uh, good luck next weekend at WCWA Nationals in at Missouri Baptist in St. Louis, Missouri.